Hey folks, it's Tristan back with another video. I'm going to be talking in this video about how to smooth shell cordovan with a deer bone. This is a traditional method of smoothing out and sort of polishing and nourishing and sort of conditioning shell cordovan leather using a deer bone. And one of the ideas behind it is that the deer bone, it's a femur bone of, of a deer. And that bone absorbs a lot of oils um, from, you know, the, uh, from the deer. And so when you get the deer bone, it has a lot of oil already built into it. And as you feel it, it kind of feels sort of oily. Um, now also you can't use just any old deer bone. You do have to get one that's polished and preferably one that's specifically for, you know, shining shoes or working on shoes because it needs to be sanded and polished so that it's smooth, um, you know, and doesn't really scratch your, uh, you know, your shoes or anything. Now, I'm not going to be doing a whole shoe polish video in this video. I will save that for another video where I go through uh, the entire uh, way that I take a shoe co from completely being like totally thrashed and rough and tumble and all that to being shiny. Um, I'll do that in a later video. I just don't have any shoes right now that are in a non-polished sort of rough condition that I want to actually polish right now because all of them are pretty well polished. So that'll be for another video. But anyway, in this video, I'm specifically talking about shining shell cordovan shoes or treating shell cordovan shoes with a deer bone. So I've got a deer bone here. And um, what you want to do first is just brush off the shoes. Now, these are actually in pretty good condition, so I don't actually need to necessarily use the deer bone on these, but I'm going to be doing this just for um, illustration purposes. Let me go ahead and do it on this one because this one looks like it you could use it a little bit more. So the first thing you want to do is you want to brush the shoe just to get rid of any residual uh, dust. And also brushing it helps um, bring up the sort of nap of the uh, shell cordovan leather a little bit so that it can ex accept the shine uh, a little bit better. And that's, that's the case for uh, any time you're working on leather. You want to brush it first. Um, so that'll help it, um, you know, accept the polish more and stuff like that. And then I actually like to take a soft rag and just sort of wipe it as well. Um, just in case there's any loose fibers from the brush on there or anything like that. Um, then you're pretty much ready to use the deer bone. And the way that you're going to do this, you're simply going to uh, rub it in a sort of a circular or side-by-side -side motion. Um, along the shoe and especially where the folds are and I do have shoe trees in here so that's something that you should note but um, as you do that and if you spend some time with it you'll see that some of the folds on the shell cordovan begin to sort of um, diminish and get flatter also it helps for the part in here that it gets discolored it helps bring some of that color and nourishment back so you don't need to use a lot of pressure, just a little bit of pressure. And you just kind of do this for quite a while. Um, and then also, if you want to sort of nourish the whole shoe, you can go over the entire shoe as well. Um, I'm not going to do that now because it doesn't really need it, but you could go over the whole shoe in like circular motions um, with, the, with the deer bone. Now, now some people say that you can do this with the back of a spoon as well um, to help smooth out the folds on shell cordovan. Um, however, and that works too, but that doesn't have the sort of natural curve of the deer bone and also doesn't have the oils too that are helping to nourish the shell cordovan as well. But um, yeah, I don't know if you can see in this video, it's already starting to get a little flatter. I mean, it's not going to ever be, you're never going to completely remove the fold here, but the fold is getting a little bit less pronounced. Um, as I was rubbing it with the with the deer bone. Also, a deer bone is good for uh, scuffs and scrapes. I've got another pair of shoes here, my all the 975s, and hopefully you can see in this video. Um, I don't know if you can see. There's a little bit of a scuff right there where my thumb is. Um, might be hard to see in this video. It's very minor, but the deer bone is good for that too, because um, it sort of helps uh, smooth out scuffs and stuff. So you just sort of rub in a circular motion like this over the scuff and it just helps um, get rid of the scuff. Certainly the longer you do it, um, the more better results you're going to have and I don't have, I don't want to make this video too long so I won't um, do it for 
as long as I normally would. I'd probably do this for a good five minutes or something like that. But um, you just want to kind of rub the deer bone a bit on the scuff. And also brushing helps quite a bit too. But I can actually see the scuff already starting to go away. Also, the final step should be a very soft brushing as well with a soft cloth. Uh, and yeah, the scuff is, I mean, there's still a little bit of scuffing, but uh, I can see it's the part where it was dull has kind of become shiny now. So it definitely did uh, a good job on that. So. so anyway, thanks for watching this video on using a deer bone to smooth shell cordovan. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them, and I will see you in my next video.